So I'm getting ready to go on a trip. It's one of my favorite times. I love packing. I know it's a little weird, but I actually like packing. I love going on the trip, getting to the destination and the act and the organization, the packing, the planning, the flight. That's all part of the fun for me. Getting to the destination, well, that's fun too, especially if it's a fun one like I'm going to down to Mexico. But I also enjoy the process of getting ready. I decided to do a quick video about what I take with me, how I pack it, for fun. I don't know if anybody will be interested, but I'm going to show off my Eagle Creek backpack and let you see how I stuff everything in there. So my primary task today is to get all of this stuff laid out on the bed here into this 40 liter bag. Inconceivable! The bag I'm using is a Global Companion 40 liter bag from Eagle Creek. I like this bag for several reasons. I saw it on Pack Hacker first. It didn't blow their minds. They only gave it like a 7.4 score, I think, or something like that, and rated it good. And it is a good bag. It's it's not the best in the world, but it's a solid bag. 40 liter, unisex. I like it for a couple of reasons. One is I got it cheap. Eagle Creek does first responder discounts. I'm a first responder, and I appreciate that. I really do. It's also made from recycled materials, saving the planet. I appreciate that. But overall, it's just a solid bag. I've been using it for, this is my fourth international trip, several domestic trips with it over the past year, and it's held up well for me. So the bulk of my items are clothing, of course. I don't travel with a lot of clothes. I travel with two pairs of socks, two pair of underwear, plus the pair I'm wearing, so three overall. I have a couple lightweight t-shirts, a moderate weight t-shirt, and a long sleeve shirt, all merino wool, very big fan of that because it seems to hold up to its claims. I also keep a semi-dress shirt, something with a collar, a polo shirt, and I always have a rain jacket with me. I have a pair of shorts, an extra pair of pants with me. I've got to get all that packed in. It should be no surprise to anybody to make all this work, I use packing cubes. I've got three Eagle pa Creek packing cubes, two compression and one non-compression. Why the non-compression? Well, when I ordered the packing cubes, I only bought two and I had to grab a third one because I didn't have enough. So if I had to do it over again, I would have three compression cubes and I'll probably go out and pick one up. Here's all the clothes that I showed you, neatly packed. Well, packed into the three cubes, two compression, one non-compression. And I'll, like I said, I'll eventually replace that non-compression with a compression cube when I get around to it. As I mentioned, every time I travel, I always take my long sleeve Marita Wall shirt it's a medium weight shirt. Even when going to Mexico, you never know where you're going to get a layover, so it's nice to have some warmth. Plus, those planes can get cold. I also always travel with this orange bag that's stuffed with a Columbia Sportswear rain jacket. It's lightweight, but it's a good rain jacket. I love this little Osprey dry bag because I can use it at my destination, and it's also a nice way to pack away the raincoat. And not that that's a great picture, but I also always travel with that wool buff. It makes a nice hat, warm around the neck if you need it. And that's shown, I usually have a thin pair of wool gloves stashed with those, with that buff. The camera gear, besides my camera phone that I take with me, is this Fuji X100V. I love this little camera. It's lightweight, does video, great pics, fixed focal, super light. I keep in the orange kit a polarizer, spare memory card, and a tripod mounter for it. I always keep that little Jobo Gorilla Pod because that's just a great little tripod. One of the other things I take with me all the time is this little air day pack. It's a collapsible bag. Works pretty well for just uh, a nice backpack. It has a water pocket. I'll take my camera gear and throw it in there uh, when I need more than just that sling will hold. So I'll take that along with me and I basically just wrap it up with the uh, tripod inside of it and stick it on the side of the bag. Besides the stuff I take for travel that I always need, I take a few things that I hope I don't need. So going from left to right, I keep a spare battery with me. This can actually power my CPAP, charge phones, whatever. It's a 95 watt hour battery. If you're curious, 100 watt hour is the max TSA will allow. I also have the PPE kit with me. It has mass sanitizer. It's a sign of the COVID times. Then besides that, I've got a headlamp, a glow stick, I always like illumination with me. I've got my spork for eating, I always have my spork with me. I keep a water filter, 
This is good for filtering water uh, down in Mexico, Ecuador, wherever you need to filter it. Uh, and of course, I always have spare coffee and stevia with me because that is truly the most important item. So I'm afraid my dope kit is not that fancy. I basically just throw all my stuff into a gallon plastic bag and roll it up. I've got toothbrush, razor, some soap in there. Nothing totally fancy. I keep some meds with me. I've got my over 50 medications that I have to take and keep with me all the time. A pair of spare uh, reading glasses. And of course, in today's times, I have a COVID kit with me. This one's from eMed that allows me to take a t monitored test so I can get past the U.S. entry requirements uh, for a COVID test 24 hours before re-entry. This is how I do it. I take this test and I can get back in by taking this remote test online. I actually usually have a couple of them with me at all times when I travel overseas. Some items I forgot to mention that I didn't even have laid out on the bed when I first started the video is, of course, my laptop. I don't go anywhere without a laptop. Actually, I, I frequently have two laptops packed into this bag. I always take my Bose noise-canceling headphones with the QC45s. I love those. I have my water bottle with me as well. The little pack off to the right is a little air day bag. I always carry that in front of me and it's full of a bunch of stuff that we can cover in another video. Basically day-to-day -day walking around things, passports, cards. I've got some basic first aid stuff in there, spare battery for my phone, etc. And this is it, the fully packed bag. As you can see I've got my rain jacket bag sit, hanging off that. I've got a hat that I keep with me so that keeps the sun off my head. I usually have some sunglasses stuck in there, which I haven't shown yet. And I've got my water bottle, the computer's inside, everything is in, is in there. The only things I haven't told you about is at the very bottom of that pack, right there at the bottom, there's a little pocket. I usually stick a couple Mountain House griddle packs in there, so I've got some food if I need it. And probably steal a couple griddle bars out of the Delta Lounge before I head out. And of course, my air sling that I wear in front. That's what I take with me. Now, in full disclosure, if I'm going overseas like down to Mexico where I don't have quick access, I usually take a check bag that's got some spare parts, um, a spare CPAP. Maybe I'll throw my spare computer in there. Sometimes I carry it with me. I'll throw a spare power supply, things like that in there that I simply cannot get quickly. But uh, that's usually just a small bag, and I try never to use it. But this is what I take with me. I hope you find this interesting. Leave comments.